Hi there. Uh, we have a review. We're going to be talking about the new Necro Goblicon album, Welcome to Bonkers. It just came out. Uh, this is their fourth album. Uh, and Necro Goblicon, if you don't know them, you know, they're a really goofy band. Get fucking and, ready. Yeah, they sing about, obviously, goofy shit. Goblins, orcs, fun, dumb stuff like that. Spiders. Um, and, you know, we saw them, we were kind of introduced to them when we saw uh, their tour with Ailstorm, and we were like, what is this? But this is fucking incredible. You know, I mean, they literally have a dude in their band that's just the hype man. And he, he dresses as a goblin. He puts, a, he he puts on a hunchback. Like, it's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> it, but but the, uh, on the flip side of it, it's like, they, uh, it, it's like, they remind me of... Um, it's a, uh, you know, obviously, styles are a little bit different, but they remind me of Glory Hammer in that Glory Hammer is super over the top. They're super corny, power metal. But when you look at it musically, they're really good. Yeah. Same with Necro Goblicon. Like, there's some songs on here that are so dumb, but they're actually really well written. Yeah. You know? So, that's that's kind of these guys. If, if I had to compare them to anybody in a weird way, it would be the Black Dahlia Murder. Vocally, riff-wise... I mean, okay. They, they have some you pretty know? fucking in your face riffs, in your face like high pitched, very fast vocals, uh, but then can get low. And brutal I say n- n- so, now, now that you bit. point that out, especially vocally, I can, I can definitely see it. Yeah. Anyways, what do you think? I I really like this album. This album is fucking fun. That that that's the primary emotion. It's just joy and fun because. And I mean, I think this album also cemented that, in my opinion, Necro Goblicon is probably the most unique band out there because it's just kind of like every song, there's just something that's like, that catches you off guard. You're like, and for a second, you're like, what the hell is this? And then you're like, this fucking Mm. works. Like, a banjo fucking shows up in Killing Time and Space. And I'm like, in the, the second to last track, and I'm like, Okay, and then I'm like, yeah, I'm all fucking about this. And same thing, like the with like the two, the two tracks that surround it with goblins, which is like a fucking ballad about hanging out with goblins, <laughs> and um, the the magic spider, which is like this weird proggy, like I I don't even know what the fuck it's called. I, like I don't know either, but but that song is so well written. It's in, in, in what I love about that song in particular, and it kind of goes with a lot of things on the album, is it just shows how like unique and different they are from song creative. to song. With the writing, yeah, creative. And it's like they have some like that, and then the next song is, you know, <clears throat> Killing Time and Space, which is some totally different, you know. Yeah, and it's like, it's and cool. they can kind of bounce back and forth. Like they have like the intro, the, the, the first track, Mold, which is really cool. Like the, I really like the intro and just like, that song, which is a little bit more straightforward, and then you have like the many faces of Doctor Hubert Malbec, which starts off really weird, or uh, dressed as goblins, which again just kind of busts in and super in your face, or dragons, which is about a, a fucking dragon that's gonna rip your skin off or whatever the lyrics are, and it's th- and I think that's just the thing they they show that. It's almost super weird because it's almost like if they took themselves more seriously, these guys could probably go like so many places. But at the same time, I think this makes them extra special that they're just like, even you know, I mean, it's from their past past album where we're gonna write a song about bears and how <laughs> fucking <laughs> and how fucking badass and deadly bears are. Like we're gonna write a fucking song about that, and it's like. Yeah, and it's, and you it's like you hear it, it's like I don't think this is gonna fucking work, but it does, and that's basically this whole album. If you if you would have sat here and, and like uh, and somebody would have told me before this album, I had no idea what this album was. Okay, picture like you know, a little folky, a little pro, a little proggy, but then throw in like banjos and accordions here and there, and they're singing about fucking dragons and goblins, mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll just be like, there's no way that fucking works, and then <laughs> here it is, and it's. <laughs> This, this, I mean, to sum it all up, this album just puts a big fucking smile on my face. Voc- vocally, guitar-wise, because they can have, like, these super intricate, like, uh, or these, like, riffs and leads that kind of sound like, uh, you know, if they have, like, a banjo or something going, but then they can just have awesome riffs, like, uh, in uh, Thanks for Nothing, Moon. I really like the intro riff. I'm like, yeah, this is very, very well versatile album. Very, very versatile band is Necro Capricorn, and I thoroughly enjoyed this album. Mm. 
Yeah, I, I, I like this album too. I like just, the, I think the variety on it is what really keeps it interesting from song to song because you have, you know, Mold, the opening track, it is an interesting track, but then it, you know, it has some nice riffs, but then I really like the chorus to it, and the chorus has like clean singing to it, which I like. But then you get to, you know, Dragons or The Skin Thief, you know, two songs that are more in your face the whole time. Uh, but still have fantastic um, vocals and riffs throughout and, you know, are more on the aggressive side. But then you have just the crazy shit, like the Magic Spider, Killing Time, Time and Space, stuff like that. Um, and I, I think it makes it just exciting because you really, truly never know what's around the corner. But even, like, dumb shit, like Dressed as Goblins, it's like... You start that song off, and, he, and the vocals are just just as goblins over and over and over and over and over again, you know? And it's like, this is kind of annoying to listen to, but I kind of like it, you know? There's Sometimes there's there's that sort of thing, too. Um, and and I, I like things that are like this. Like, we're massive fans of Glory Hammer, and I, I love when you have something that's just so fun and completely stupid, but it's so expertly crafted. And I know there's people out there that go like, I can't believe you guys listen to Glory Hammer and you take them seriously. And you, you, that's the thing. You shouldn't take them seriously. No. You should just go along for the ride and have fun. I think Necrogoblicon's another one. Like, when, when you listen to Dragons and, and the chorus goes, there's a dragon ripping you to shreds, but he wants to be your friend. It's like, that's <laughs> fucking stupid. And then you listen to the, the guitar work underneath, and the guitar work is, like, amazing. I'm, I'm like, those two things shouldn't go together, but they make them work and I, I really like that sort of stuff and I, I like the vocals on, on this album um, gosh I want to get his name Nicholas Scorpion Von Doom um, <laughs> just incredible um, because you know I like the you know any clean singing I like um, you know Magic Spider is really goofy it, vocally but then I, I like his his more aggressive vocals too. Like to me, like I said, it reminds me of, of Trevor from the Black Dye Murder uh, in terms of like some higher pitched vocals. But I feel like Nicholas uh, does it a little bit quicker at times. You know, like the, when he's doing like Justice Scott, I'm like, I don't know how the hell you do that. I can't do screen vocals. So, but uh, <clears throat> you know, I I I I, I like those sort of things. I just think you have good foundations and then you add some kind of, you know, dumb and fun on top of it. Makes for a fun album, to be honest with you. But, yeah, I agree with everything you said otherwise. It's it's good. It honestly is. I think, I think you guys should honestly give it a strong shot because... It's not a bad song here. I'm here. Not like, really. I'm looking at them. I'm like, yeah, that one's good. That one's good. <laughs> They're all fucking great. It's fun. It's a dumb fun time. It is. This album. It is. It's bonkers, one would say. Ha. Gotcha. What would you give this? Give it like an 8.5. I really like this album. Like a lot. Yeah. I agree with that. 8.5 to 9. So maybe like an 8.75. Ooh. Ooh go to the game for a scale <laughs> I don't know either way it's fun listen to it let us know what you think of Welcome to Bonkers by Necrogoblicon thanks for watching see ya <laughs>